Hello everyone, 4DIYers here, back with another tutorial video for everyone. Now in this particular video here I'll be showing you how to do a cheap and inexpensive, or possibly free if you have all the materials around, test light. Now this is just a temporary test light, so if you don't have one on hand, uh, this is what you can use to do a power test. This is for a 12 volt application as well. Uh, so if you're working on your car, lawn tractor, uh, it works perfectly for that. Now the materials which are needed to do this task include a length of wire here, I have about a foot of wire, and you can see this is a pair of strands molded together. Now you can use this type or you can use uh, just two separate strands, it doesn't matter. And you want to make sure it's the flexible style. You also need a 12 volt light bulb from your vehicle. Now this particular one here, I just pulled it from the tail light housing, uh, it was for the reverse light. And uh, the reverse lights are normally found to be a single filament bulbs or you can also use something from your parking lights. Um, other applications can be a dual filament bulb which can include the brake lights or uh, signal lights. And uh, basically what the difference is here with a single filament you have one terminal on the bottom and with a dual filament bulb you have two terminals so you have to select which terminal you want. Now on the side of the bulb here you normally have specs and it does say it's for a 12 volt application so you want to make sure you have something like that. Then you also need a roll of electrical tape and the only tool you need for this is just a pair of side cutters or uh, wire, wire strippers. Now starting first with the wire here, considering this was a pair of strands molded together, what I just did is I just started splitting the strands. The shorter end will be going towards the bulb section and the longer portion, you can see here I just have a single strand and uh, the other one's on the other side here. That'll be going just for the testing portion and I stripped the wires on each side here as you can see and using a pair of wire strippers you just want to go within accordance of what uh, what gauge wire you have here so this one here I just use the 22 to 20 gauge um, cutter. Now as for connecting the wires now on an incandescent lamp here the outer casing is known as the negative uh, terminal or basically contact and the bottom terminal here is known as the positive. Now when connecting these wires basically what I'll have to do is tape the one around the outside here and then tape the opposite one on the bottom portion. Now, as you can see I've already taped up the one wire. Now the wire which I did use in order to go on the negative portion of the bulb itself is just the one that was a full black. The one with the white stripe on it will be going on the positive terminal. So you can see I just ran up through the bottom here and wrapped the electrical tape all the way around the casing. So as you can see here I finished taping up the wires on the bottom of the light here. I already put the positive wire to the positive terminal on the bulb itself and just to show you as a test here I've already taped up the one wire to the positive terminal so just put the negative wire on the battery terminal here as you can see how well that works. Now if you want to get a little more technical with it and you do have a soldering wire you can go ahead and just solder the wires here because they tend to uh, fray up a little bit when you are using them. I have twisted them in place but if you're getting to something a little more specific you just want to be careful with that. But if you're in a pinch in any situation and you do need a test light, say if you're working on a stereo system or you're just finding a, um, if a one wire in your vehicle is getting any voltage whatsoever, um, you can do this, do a perfect test with this. Now if you are getting a full 12 volts, the bulb will go uh, to the full brightness or whatever the battery is charged up as, um, if it is a good battery. Now if you are running say uh, a wire is only getting 6 volts you'll notice the light is dim. Now this is a test you can do yourself. Unfortunately you can't measure uh, what the voltage output is going to the light itself. So thank you for watching this tutorial video. If you have any comments or questions please don't hesitate to post them below. Also please subscribe to my channel and rate this video. Thank you for watching.